most important, we don't know the best way to treat it. Those are some of the things we don't know, and we should never be embarrassed to admit that. All scientific advances come from conceding ignorance. That's always the critical first step in discovery. Admit what you don't know, observe, test, test again and compare, never allow your preconceptions to influence the results. That's called the scientific method. It works. That's why average life expectancy is no longer 42. Unfortunately, Western media companies are not pro-science at the moment. They're opposed to science. It means losing control. They see their job not as encouraging the kind of robust, open-minded debate that yields scientific breakthroughs, but instead as guardians of stale conventional wisdom, the Praetorian guard of the discredited professional class. For example, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro recently questioned the value of quarantine. Bolsonaro argued that the coronavirus is less deadly than we thought, that keeping the economy from crashing is a more important goal, and that isolation should be practiced only for people at risk. Now, of course, Bolsonaro could be completely wrong about that. He might also be completely right. We don't know. Nobody does. But big tech does not believe you should be allowed to think about this. So Twitter has already deleted Bolsonaro's comments. The other tech monopolies have followed suit. They claim Bolsonaro contradicted official public health guidelines. Consider that. Official public health guidelines. The U.S. government has spent weeks telling you that masks don't protect the public from coronavirus. That is a lie. It's also an official public health guideline. In mid-January, the World Health Organization told you that China had determined the virus couldn't be spread from person to person. That was a lie, too. It killed tens of thousands of people. Another public health guideline. Should Twitter have censored anyone who disagreed with it? If it happened today, they would have censored anyone who disagreed with it. At the moment, Twitter is censoring comments that say unapproved things about hydroxychloroquine. It's the anti-malaria drug that has shown some promise. Is the drug known for certain to be effective? No, it's not. But some doctors and researchers on the front lines think, it's, think it works, and they're treating patients with it right now. The FDA just approved it. Yet because the media are partisan and stupid, their position is hydroxychloroquine doesn't work and can never work. And if you disagree with that, we'll make you shut up. That's the Middle Ages position on science. Free inquiry is scary and must be suppressed. They're doing it now on the largest scale in history, and they're not likely to stop. It's just too tempting to use a crisis to achieve your political objectives. Soon they'll be telling you that Fox News, not China, caused this pandemic. In fact, many are saying that now. How long before they start claiming that in the name of public health, Fox News must be suppressed? Paranoid? Okay, you watch. 